and welcome to Scene, the arts and culture show for Watch It. I'm Becky Kamina. And I'm Callum Norledge. And in tonight's show, we are getting into the Christmas spirit. Yes, we are, Callum. And we're going to be having a look at the Christmas light switch on in Stratford. We are indeed. And we'll be also having a sneak interview with Liam Clark, who's in charge of the new radio station here at Stratford-upon-Avon College. And we'll also Ooh. be having a look at Stratford College's production of Footloose. I, I love, love Footloose. Uh, same. Same. But first, let's take a step into the magical world of the Nutcracker, a lovely little Christmas shop in the heart of Stratford. We opened in uh, 2004, and the reason why, when I came for my lunch, I just got overexcited. Seen a shop that I liked and decided that I would buy or lease them then. We've got other shops in Scotland. We had one in a small town called Calendar, that was our first shop. Uh, one in Edinburgh and one in a, town, a small town called Creef. And then this was going to be the, the fourth one here. I think anybody coming into the shop would realise there's a Scottish owner. Um, we play uh, Scottish music or Christmas music with a Scottish hint with bagpipes and uh, an accordion. Um, and also we promote the fact that we are Scottish and the fact that we have a, lot, a small section uh, selling um, tartan uh, Christmas products. The location, the amount of visitors that is attracted to Stratford, and it's an all year round visitor uh, city. Um, the ideal location with Shakespeare's birthplace being just, just across the road. In the summer time, we're generally very, very busy because of the amount of tourists that actually come into the, the town. We still have visitors from all over Britain coming to the town, even in the summertime, who buy. Um, but that's augmented by the visitors from around the world that buy and take something back as a memento, as a memory. Nutcrackers themselves um, are a, a product of Germany, the ones we have. Um, they're a traditional German product that's been started way back hundreds of years ago. And you look round the shop, you will see uh, we have got a very large collection of glass balls. Now, all these glass balls come from mainland Europe. Now, that would mean that they would perhaps come out of Germany, Poland, Ukraine, the Czech Republic. We're very proud of the fact that we keep our shop in good condition with plenty stock all year and hope that that will be the key to our success. Tell you what, Becky, if you need a Christmas decoration, that is the place to go to. Definitely. My house is going to be a Santo's Grotto this year. Why not? Why not? It's a place you won't regret visiting. And uh, talking about Christmas, um, let's go and have a look at the Christmas light switch on. Special. The very clever chaps, the creative designers over at Illumins, have created an interactive, immersive experience where you will be able to catch a glimpse of young William Shakespeare beamed onto the walls of his birthplace. We are inviting you to come up to our magical bookcase, pick your favourite Shakespeare play, and that will activate the show which you will see beamed on the walls of the birthplace behind me here. Ready? Excellent. So, when you're ready, we'll begin a countdown from 10. Are we ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.
us when they came down, had a look, and they spent the past couple of months working on it. And I think it went really well. We're really looking to get a luminous. They've got a really good background and they've done lots of interesting um, opening nights before, so we were pleased. Uh, this year's show is different because it's interactive. So rather than a set show at set times, we're inviting audience members to pull a book off which activates the scene on the house. So in theory, we could have just a continuous show every night, whereas before we just had a five minute one which people watched and they had no involvement in it at all. So this year it's about their involvement. Uh, the light show will go on now until the uh, 19th of December, uh, Thursday, Friday and Saturday evenings, four till six. was amazing I loved it I was there so was I I didn't see you oh I'm not surprised with the thousands of people so that were many there. yes but if you did miss it it's on on Thursday Friday and Saturday uh, all the way up to the 19th of December from four till six <laughs> so you should go it'd be a great thing to go look at it, well it was, it was something else it was it was good uh, so Becky what is going on in the Warwickshire area well Callum one of the country's best loved yes. and most popular comedians is back, but guess who it is? You're going to have to give me a clue. Begins with a P. Paddy McGuinness. That's right, star yes. of ITV's oh Take Me Out will return to his performing roots with his first stand-up comedy tour since 2011. Wow, long time. So after being out of the game so for so long, yeah. Paddy is raring to get back there and he will be at the Warwickshire Arts Centre on the 10th of December at 7.30pm. No like it. No, no like it. Love that show. It's so great. Love Britain's it. biggest Motown spectacular returns to the Dallas Burton Polo Club in Salvum with an all new all star show featuring the music from the Jackson 5, Stevie Wonder, Marvin Gaye, Diana Ross, Lionel Richie, and more. I love them. Lionel Richie's great. So it's Diana oh. Ross, Marvin Gaye. Oh, it's going to be so dancing. So many classics. Love there. it. Sounds like uh, a great this night. is a great evening out with your family and friends. So hurry, the event is on the 11th of December at 7.30 and the tickets are selling fast. So get them now. Oh my God, I'm going to have to go to that. That sounds great. Mm, yes. Can't wait. That's... Absolutely looking forward to it. But I think after all of this, Callum, mm. we need a cup of tea. We do. 
However, we have got a jam pat second half for you. Tell them about the competition. It is Callum versus Becky, so stay tuned for that. See you guys after the break. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Scene. Now, I hope you're ready for a jam-packed second half, as always. I know I am. Yes. We've also got an interview with our Liam Clark with the new radio station here at Stratford College. Yes. And we've even got a game. But before any of that, let's look at why you should come to Stratford College to watch our performing arts students perform their version of Footloose. This is quite stressful at times, but definitely rewarding because you have such a close cast of people around you and everyone knows each other so well. It's going really well at the moment, but <laughs> we've still got three more weeks. I've been working so hard, I'm punching my car. Eight hours for one, oh tell me what I got. So hard, I'm punching my car. Eight hours for what? For what? For what? For what? For what? For what? Been working too damn hard. I'm punching that big car. Eight hours of bus to my burn. Don't tell me what I got. I got this feeling that time's just holding me down. I need this feeling time is holding me down. for the wide open spaces. What you mean is that you're moving some of the pig town no one's ever heard of. Hey, people have heard of it. Oh yeah, what's the name of it? You can find it on any map. What's the name of it? People are flocking there from all over. What's the name of it? Beaumont. Beaumont? Where, Where the hell are they? That looks incredible. Mm. I wish I could dance like that. Uh, those performing arts students are talented and uh, they've okay. been rehearsing for about three months now. No way! Yes. Three months! I know, crazy, that's, isn't it? That's mental! Mm. But if you would like to see the production of Footloose, then performances are on the 13th, 14th and 15th of January 2016. Uh, tickets cost £10 and the evening begins at 7 30 So if you love musicals just as much as me and Callum, mm. you definitely don't want to miss Stratford College's performance yes. of Footloose. Um, so, now let's take a look at uh, Stratford College's new radio station uh, with Liam Clark. Good morning, it's Stratcast Radio, it's your breakfast show, I'm with you all morning. Here's Walk the Moon on Stratcast Radio. Uh, my name's Liam Clark and I'm a second year H&D creative media student here at Stratford Upon Open College. Well, our course um, covers all forms of media production, so that's everything from radio to television, film, um, photojournalism as well, so it covers all of that. And um, radio has been something quite particular to me, I've been really into it from a young age. Um, I started off on hospital radio when I was 15, and um, obviously, you know, came to college, did some more radio here, and it's really something, we've got the facilities, um, stately art facilities, better than most community stations, I'd probably stay at saying it's, um, you know, it's obvious it's something we need to be doing, and we should have probably done it a lot long, longer time ago um, but everyone's just really excited to get it, get it going some of the media students here at the college have decided to take it upon themselves to um, rebrand and relaunch uh, Stratcast which is of course the college's online um, TV and radio channel and uh, we want to turn it into a fully functioning uh, radio station which will broadcast every day 
um, 10 till 4 right here from Stratford Bowen College. So we've got a real sort of wide variety of content. Um, you know, we've got a lot of talk shows. For example, one of the first years is doing a show all about gaming. So people who like video games can tune into that. And also loads of music, of course, different genres. We've got um, shows focusing on grime, rock, pop music, chart shows, absolutely everything really. I think there's always something to um, fill everybody's um, everyone's needs to listen to radio. Well, the best way to listen is online. Um, of course, we're broad- broadcasting online and you can do it through, all through the college's website. So you should go to www.stratford.ac.uk um, forward slash Stratcast and everything's on there. Um, you can listen back to shows on demand, you can listen live, find out information about what's coming up and find out about the presenters as well. Every time you're doing a show here in a studio, you're learning, you're getting better. Um, but I think in the long run as well, in terms of the station, you know, I think all the students here would love to sort of achieve maybe an FM license um, so we can broadcast even more and hit a wider audience. But we want to um, we want to be a community station. We want to help people in Stratford Haven, give them something to listen to. You know, we've got people who are interested in news and views around Stratford Haven. We know the right places to go, the people to interview, and there's always stuff going on in Stratford Haven because it's a tourist attraction. Um, and we think, you know, why not? We've got brilliant media students here, great facilities, and we should just give, give something back to the community. And that's what we want to try and do with this, uh, this new project. And if you want to find out more about our radio shows, just go to stratford.ac.uk forward slash stratcast. And now, for our new exciting segment on the run up to Christmas, it is Callum versus Becky. It's time for Callum versus Becky. So me and Callum are going to be fighting to the run-up to Christmas. Uh, yeah, every every week we're going to be, like Rianne said, uh, doing these games. Whoever wins overall we'll at the win. end will win the ultimate Champions of Champions scene trophy. Woo! <laughs> so, Rianne, would you like to explain the rules to us? Okay, <laughs> this game is called Rapper Present Fast. You're going to have your partner's arms. Sell the tapes together, so you've only got one set of arms to try and wrap a present. Okay. You've got two minutes on the clock, and whichever one looks the best by the end of the game is the winner. And I'm going to be the judge of it. Oh, I want to win this celebration. I feel, like, I feel like your wrists are a little bit loose there, actually. <laughs> I'm going to make yeah, it there. Uh, yeah, that's better it. Better do it twice for that. <laughs> right. What's, what's oh my god, we look like prison break, yeah. <laughs> Run, Forrest, run! One to two, strong. Ah, oh, no, that's really tight. Rianne. Just make sure your arms aren't loose. Don't. don't. Right, guys, right, no, they, 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 oh, they, they, I'm guys, trying to like, see if you can fall off. Okay. 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 In three, in two, in one, down, start right. rapping! Right. All right, so now they've both got the wrapping paper out. The boys have got their present on show. The girls haven't got it as yet. Take your wrapping paper somewhere else. Hold it tight, hold it tight. All right, the girls have started to cook. Hold it. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, they're doing we're it as well. We're lagging behind, we're lagging behind. All right, they've got their present out. Communication between the girls seems a lot better. They're actually communicating, they're just backing away. Oh, I can't get Right. You could do Oh, the boys have actually started wrapping their present. Girls are slacking. Come on, girls. Okay, 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 hold on. Alright, right, now, the girl's got the sellotape on. The sellotape? Boys can't find the sellotape. You nicked it, that's Yours is right there! Yours is right in front of you! Give it back! Some sabotage going on, the boys have stolen the girl's sellotape. Fuck on! Come on, guys. Right, well, the girls have got a technique going on here. We've got one minute left on the clock. Come on, guys! We got this! Oh right, at this stage, you can oh see God, that the God, girls God, are looking God. more neat. The voice is oh, no, not as much. <laughs> the girls are having a bit of struggle here with their sellotape. Oh Come on, girls! Oh, there we go. I'll hold it, I'll hold it, I'll hold it. <laughs> oh, Jane's got a good tactic. Sellotape for the knees. Good tactic. Oh, that's it, that's it. Point it, point it. <laughs> Boys have given up on the scissors, just using their teeth. Oh, yeah. oh, guys, you've got 30 seconds left on the clock, guys. Come on. Oh, Remember, it's whose present looks the best is the winner. Come on. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Go on, guys. You've got 10 seconds left on the clock. 10, oh, go, go, go. 9, 8, oh, 7, 6, 5, 4. <laughs> Two, one, and stop rapping, stop rapping, stop rapping. All equipment away. 
Okay, stop rapping, stop rapping. <laughs> right. Uh, Look at it. <laughs> now. What? What is that? As you can clearly see. We have... Come on. The girls have actually completed their present. There's a little bit of lack of sellotape on the corner, but a valiant effort, I will say. No, let's look at the boys. Oh, what my God. Is, come on. There's a few problems with that. There's right. a, few There's a few problems issues. indeed. Shall we um, talk you through it? Um, I don't think you need to. I think we can see. <laughs> we had a little selly incident. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Instead of saying it's still attached, so yeah. adding extra stuff to the present doesn't count. Right. So this isn't a bonus. And it's very unneat. So I, I have to say the girls are the winners. Yeah. Yeah. So join us next week. That's your fault. For oh, another okay. game of Callum versus Becky. <laughs> you did very well, guys. Oh, <laughs> 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 And so, Becky's 1-0 up. Join us next week for more Callum vs Becky. Callum vs Becky! Can't believe I just lost that. I'm in such a good mood. How does it feel to be a loser, Callum? Not, not great. It's not, it's not really a great start, is it? I'm so pumped. I'm definitely ready to win this tournament. I, I will yeah. win this. I will you win this. Though, yes, Callum. I will. Oh, I'm yes, gonna win. Will. It's okay to be a loser, Callum. Just, it's all right. You just, just gotta admit it. End the show. Get on with it. <laughs> Unfortunately, Callum is right. It is the end of the show. But we will be coming back next week, won't we, Callum? Yes, we will. Uh, next week we've got games and um, more games, more stuff about Warwickshire. But it it's is the gonna. Of our Christmas it's season. the start of our Christmas. So. so uh, it's going to be great. Have a decorated set. Yeah. Lovely lights. Right, we will see you next week. Bye.